Coming up, I'm going to show you three ways that you can spy on your competitors' ASO keywords, track them, compare them, and find the most valuable keywords that are working for them. Stay tuned. What is up, App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.com, the app marketing agency that's going to help you grow your app downloads and your revenues faster and cheaper than anyone else. Now, in this video, I want to show you three ways that you can find your competitors' keywords to help you build your huge keyword list, which is extremely important for ASO, App Store Optimization, and also to find the most valuable keywords that they are using to generate revenue and downloads. Now let's get started. All right, this video is sponsored by ASO Mobile, asomobile.net. If you guys wanna learn more, if you wanna support a Ukrainian company, go check them out. It is asomobile.net, but I've already added a friend of mine, Unplug Meditation, great app by the way, so shout out to Susie. Now I don't think she'll mind me doing this for her particular app using this video. What you wanna do is go into competitors. And first we're gonna do competitors and spy keywords. Now, as you can see, unlike other ASO tools, ASO Mobile has already given us a bunch of different keywords. They've preloaded it already. So we're gonna hit add competitors and they've done some of the work for us. They've added some of the competitors that they think most fit our app. So I love Simple Habit. I'm going to keep that in there. I'm going to take out a few because I don't want those guys in there. But the more competitors, the better. All right, now I'm going to add a few more. So I'm going to add Calm, and it's better to just get the URL of the app here. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to put Headspace right here. Now Headspace and Calm are obviously the biggest competitors out there when it comes to meditation apps. But I also want to put something different because I know that breathing exercises has good search volume. So I want to pick one of the biggest breathing exercises apps in there because it might help me shift my ASO strategy. If I'm just focusing on meditation, there's no way that I might be able to beat calm and headspace. So I'm going to put breath work in here. Here's breath work. And then maybe I want to put some hypnosis app. So you want to just like diversify it depending on the type of content that you have within your app. I know Susie said there's some hypnotherapy meditations in the app as well as foam rolling. So you want a more diverse group of competitor apps to really help you find different keywords. We'll say this is good enough and let's get started. So now you can start filtering off of the search traffic. Now I like to typically use the search ad score right here. So you can see Calm is the biggest one, Calm. You can see how well we rank for Calm compared to our competitors. Next, you can also filter off of these keywords. So I'm gonna hit filter. So maybe I wanna go into breathing and see, so there's meditation breathing. If there's any keywords I might be able to find around that or maybe around meditation and see which keywords I might be missing on. So sleep meditation, possibly Christian meditation. That's a very interesting keyword if that's an app that I wanted to target. Now, if I were starting an app today, I would probably want to start with these more longer tail keywords like Christian meditation that are more niche than just broad meditation, but you can start filtering off of that. Next, if you find a keyword like, let's say Christian meditation that we just found or anxiety as an example, I'm going to clear this real quick. You can add this to your keyword list. So we're 160 right now, which isn't too good, but maybe it's a big push that we want to make for the new year. So we can hit that ad and it'll add to the keyword tracking list. So it's a great way to do keyword research by looking at your competitors. We definitely want meditation in here and then possibly headspace comms number two for headspace. So great way to do this. So I have it filtered by meditation now, and I'm going to put sleep meditation as well. Mindfulness meditation is not too bad. You want to search ad score of at least high 20s or low 30s. So you definitely want to have these in here. Mindfulness meditation. And why not? Let's add Christian meditation. Maybe this is a lower competition keyword, and maybe Susie can build out Christian meditations as well. So I'm going to add that to the list. Next, I'm going to go into the spy explorer that you can do use right here. Now here you can only compare one competitor at a time, but it allows you to see, okay, how well I'm doing against my closest competitor. So here, this is simple habit that we're comparing it with. And you can see some of the keyword traffic that they have. So simple habit is ranking number 71. See how I'm doing here. 
uh, motivation. I'm not ranking at all. And then you can even see, you know, what are the number one keywords for simple habit? So this is simple habit. So very much branded. They used to be number one for meditation, frankly, but I guess they've dropped. So you can see which ones they're ranking in the top four and which ones might be keywords that we go on to go after. And so unplugged, they're number seven, but we're number one. They're coming in, but there's not that much search traffic. And KEI just means the the effectiveness of a keyword for your particular app. And then here, CI is the competitiveness. So the lower, the better here that you want. For me personally, I like to sort the search ads traffic with at least 20. So this is how I would do it. And then come up with different keywords that I might be missing. So like unplug, pace breathing, which has lower difficulty right here. And the search ads is 21. It's close to that 30 that I want to be, but good enough. And I want to maybe go after that. Anger management, they have something here too. They're 29. So again, not as difficult, but again, unplug, we're not ranking at all for it. So these are great ways. So I'm like, all right, I want to go after anger management possibly, right? And then I want to go after pace breathing. So we're adding these keywords to our keyword tracking. Also, we can pick a different. So maybe it's breathing exercises. Breathing exercises, meditation, I feel like they're all the same. So I'm going to pick breath work. And then again, I want to get at least a search traffic search ads traffic score of 20 and then breathing exercises really good traffic right here it's not as competitive so this is definitely a keyword that i want to work on same with breathing now i love any terms that have breathing and breathing exercises that are in the 30s because if i can rank for one i can likely rank for the other right so for one of our apps we it is sort of like breathing exercises and we rank number one for breathing and breathing exercises and we're generating good amount of downloads 100 plus downloads a day and we're being able to scale that app from one thousand ten thousand dollars so that is this is this type of two word compound that where the single version like breathing has good traffic volume and the dual breathing exercises good volume those are the keywords i really 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 loved to look at now the last tool i want to show you is still under this competitors tab but spy competitors now this is really good and for bigger companies this is phenomenal because i work with a couple of different big companies who just want to see for a given keyword like meditation how are my competitors doing? Because they want to be in the top 10 for a particular keyword. And so you really want to have that competitive analysis to see to see how well you're doing against your competitors. So this is the best spot to do that and easily report back to your bosses and your bosses' bosses and so forth, or just really keep an eye. So let's pick a couple of keywords right here. Meditation. And we've already added keywords because of the route we took. So if you didn't do that, you can do so right here. And here's some recommended ones. And then again, you can filter off of the keywords and the traffic and all that stuff. But these are all the keywords that we've added because we did the competitive analysis. We already have this list of keywords. And so these are the keywords we've added. Now, if I'm missing any, then we can definitely add it into here as well. But I am not, so I'm gonna leave it as that. Now, here is where we're gonna look at. Now, you can see when it comes to meditation, Fortunately, unplug is at the very bottom. So simple habit is 30, as you can tell right here. Headspace is number one, calm is number three, and we're down to 67, all right? So it's like, again, for me, if I'm working on this app, which, you know, Susie is a good friend, and that's why I'm doing this video, I would want to go after other keywords that have pretty decent traffic, but lower competition. And so breathing exercises, let's take a quick look at this. Maybe there's some headway that we can get on with this particular keyword. As you can see, breathing exercises, breath work is number one. So we can go all the way back to the day of this recording. Headspace is seven, calm is 10. Simple habit now drops down to 56, right? So now I'm like, oh, okay. What are some keywords that I don't see calm and headspace focusing on as much as meditation or sleep or better sleep, right? So like maybe even anxiety where now breath work is starting to win. Now breath work is not as huge as calm and headspace. They're doing fairly well, but again, they're not as big as them. So now it becomes an exercise of figuring out, oh, all right, that is interesting. Let me go after that. And then the Christian meditation, if you guys remember that, look, this keyword Decent amount of search volume, right? But none of these apps are going after it. Again, that's why I would start with the niches because you can see the big guys are not paying attention to it. All right, guys, 
That's it. Three simple ways to really do competitive analysis. Again, if you're just starting out, it's a great way to find where the gaps might be in a different category of apps. I feel like ASO these days, it's better to start in the niches rather than very much up top like meditation. I start with Christian meditation or breathing exercises instead of going after meditation. Also, if you're a bigger company, it's really great to do competitive analysis and see how well you're doing against your competitors. Once again, this video was sponsored by ASO Mobile. I love working with these guys because it's my way of trying to support a Ukrainian company. So if you want to learn more, go check them out. It is asomobile.net, asomobile.net. And we have a promo for you if you use the link in the YouTube description as well. All right. Leave in the comments what you thought about the video. Hit like if you thought it was very valuable. And if there's any content that you want to see me do in the future, definitely leave a comment as well. Till next time, see you on the next video.